So basically in transaction theory, uh, let me get this closer to the camera, we have three parts of ourselves. So the first part is a higher self. The second part is the adult. And the third part, I mean, is the parent. That should be a P, sorry. And the third part is the child. The higher self is otherwise referred to as the adult. So this should be HS, higher self or adult. This should be P, just I'll, I'll change it. This should be C for child. So if you've got a pen and paper, can you draw this um, and make sure you put it in the middle of the page like this? I'm just going to change that A to a P. There we go. Let's do that again. So that's higher self or adult, parent and child. I'm going to assume you've done that because it's quite quick. Yeah. So let me tell you about this. I found this fascinating and this is something I come back to all the time. This is only part of the journey. Remember, this is the very, very beginning. Cool. Thanks, Tan. This is the very, very beginning. So um, th there's lots more to come, but we're going to build on this really slowly. If you're anything like me, slow building and practical experience is the way to learn and change. So the higher self or the adult is that part of you that's come through your life with you that has experienced everything you've experienced, but without any judgment, no, no guilt, no shame, no judgment, nothing. It is that part of you that is so wise and the only part of you, the only thing in the whole world that can really know how to help you because it's come through everything with you, but it looks at you and your life through the lens of pure love. There's, there's nothing to um, hate or shame or, 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 um, disown or anything like that. Then your parent is that part of you that parents you. You know when you have a, a negative voice about you in your head or some part of you that going, why did you do that? Don't do that. Or just hold it together and things like that. That's your parent. And then your child is your emotional response to things. So this is any any time any feelings that you have, especially really powerful feelings and strong feelings, this is your child. And basically what's happening in your life is these three parts are acting in, uh, like, like there's a tension between them pulling you. And th and this is, this is largely what makes us uncomfortable. So you, if you are not developed or, I mean, if you, if you don't know who you are and you, or you don't love yourself or you don't understand, who, you know, what's going on with you or, who, or, how, or how you react and why, then there's a big tension there. The bigger the tension or the bigger your feelings or the more you hate yourself, the bigger the tension there. So just to show you this as well. So basically you, <laughs> sorry, I can't, I'm, I'm trying to navigate. You are all of these three, but you are only a representation of those three. It depends which one is dominant at which time. So if you're very punitive and horrible to yourself and judgmental and why did you do that, your parents is dominant. So that's what you're representing. That, that's how you're presenting yourself. That, so you are only a representation of those things. When you're able to integrate these, when they come together and become one and you love every part of yourself, that is you. So that's what we're aiming for. That's where we're aiming to go is to integrate these three parts to get rid of all that tension and to make you feel whole. So the first exercise is to just draw lines for you on there. So under each one, whoop, uh, I'm really doing this in the mirror, so it's very difficult. Under each one, you want to either draw lines or you can just write straight away. Basically, what you're going to do for your child now is write down very strong emotions that you have, like feelings that you always react to or you feel really strongly. For example, when I was young, I used to get angry a lot and I would express that anger and my temper would come out. So anger was a very strong feeling for me. You can write them in sentences or you can just write the words, the, the feelings that come on very strong. 